Uh, we're gonna go get started here. We're gonna start with our introduction. So, Dennis, can you start and do, and do the chuck, please? My name is Dennis, and I come from Slovenia, and like the most people, I work for the Venus Project. My name is Alfred Henry. I'm the coordinator for uh, Venus Expression Media. Hi, my name is Craig, coordinator for Media Contacts team. Jacqueline, coordinator for the lecture team. Sean, lecture team. Anna and Brian Dubia, uh, development team and linguistic team. Hi, this is Roxanne from the Venus Project. Hi, Roxanne. Hello, Guillermo Sucre, coordinator for Venezuela. Uh, hi, this is Eleni, a member of the lecture team. Hello, Luis, activista de México. Um, Venus Project movie update, so what's in Can you give us an update about the uh, Venus Project movie? I'm really sorry, AH3. There must be some pretty bad connection. I can hardly understand what you're saying. Yeah, I'm having the same trouble too. I hear you clear, clear, Roxanne. I hear you pretty well. Yeah, well, the, he, he mentioned two, three things. One is the definition of the team in that first link. The second is a, a request for sub-coordinators to email him for the, those that uh, uh, relate to the particular sub-team uh, descriptions. And the third thing is to ask Roxanne about updates on the movie project. Well, I can give you updates on the movie. Um, we're in the process of writing the script. We have many documents that we're taking it from, and that will take a while. But we've also made some very interesting contacts that we're, we are just seeing if they're going to come about, really. Um, they're in different parts of the world, maybe Qatar. Um, we're, we're just waiting a couple weeks to hear from somebody who, who has some very definite contacts in, uh, with a very good production company who has just won Emmys on some of their movies this year. And they may be interested in speaking with us, but we find out about that in a couple weeks. There's really nothing specific that's definite right now, but there's a lot of things that we're following through on. So it's difficult to talk about it because, you know, I can't report anything definite. Just that it's exciting that we are making some contacts and they could be significant. We just spoke with somebody today who's doing a, um, a one-hour film on Discovery Channel and they want to use some of our graphics and it, it's about the future and they want to put um, the Venus Project at the end of it. I don't know if that's definite either. You know, with a lot more time, if we did it with a, with a pilot TV show, maybe an hour pilot and then half hour uh, series every week or whatever we can do. So we're looking into that contact as well. Um, so we are, you know, reaching out to whatever we can at this point while we're writing the script. So we'll see what happens. As soon as I have something positive and definite, I would certainly make that announcement. Okay, I just want to change to my settings. Can everybody hear me? Uh, any better? 
Uh, yeah, I think. Continue to speak. Who sounds on? Is your room quiet? There seems to be either background noise or it may be part of the microphone. Uh, my room is quiet. I'm not sure what the problem is. Well, that's really exciting, Roxanne. Uh, it sounds great. I'm very excited um, right along with you and Jock. Yeah, it is moving along. Like I said, nothing's definite on all those, but it, it is exciting and it is positive because we are making contacts, and I'm sure we'll make a lot more contacts as people try and reach out to other people along the way and introduce this. So it, it looks promising. And, and the script is coming well. I'm pleased with it so far. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, uh, you know, it takes a while to hash that out. And she hasn't mentioned it. She just kind of surprised me with the last one, which was nice. And they're translating it into many different languages. But I think it might be a good idea if we start that early. Because I know the last one came in uh, maybe about, about a month too late when it was put, put up. But, so now. Roxanne, I don't know how you feel about this, but I know from personal experience that a calendar can be used as an excellent platform for generating funding if you would consider using advertising space. Now, I don't know if that's something that you would consider based on the integrity of the project or not, but it's certainly an opportunity. Well, I'm not sure how that would be done with a calendar. I'm just not familiar with it. Are you talking about a printed calendar with people um, advertising on it? Can you explain what you have in mind? Yeah, it would be selling advertising space on the calendar. Now, my suggestion would be that if we were to consider that option, that we would only try... I don't know. I'd have to talk that over with Jacques. It might be a possibility. Uh, we'll have to hash it over and see what the consequences might be. Or um, So it is a printed calendar with people who advertise on each month, or, I, I'm, or maybe, um, I guess... I, I think I've seen some things like that on the wildlife calendars. Or I'd, I'd have to look at how that's presented. Yeah, the reason it's an excellent platform, Roxanne, is because the advertising space that can be sold um, can actually be a very small space on the calendar. It doesn't have to dominate any of the Venus Project designs or print. Um, it can be very small corner space on each page. I don't object to that offhand, depending on, you know, what, who's doing the advertising. We'd have to, like you say, look into that. Sorry, right, can you hear me better? That's not clear for me, Alfred. That's not a better. Okay, good. So I'm gonna move on to the next agenda uh, item. Um, Team's logo project for uh, Griffith, um, excuse me, Dr. Uh, Regina. Nice. Uh, this um, team's project, uh, logo project is for this project for uh, creating. Team logos, graphic designers, um, content team coordinators uh, will have they um, like to um, their logos to be designed. If uh, any team like a logo made, please tell it on um, one one of the graphic designers. All this is um, the. Um, teens intro promo videos project for um, filmmakers. Basically, we're looking for um, people who do um, video promos for um, each team. 
these um, videos will be um, about be ordered and by the following about missions, mission objectives, and um, how to get involved in the team about the um, video promo um, project or the um, logo um, project. We had a lot of contributions for logos when we were looking for a new logo. Uh, I don't know if they're still on our website and I don't know if the people who sent them in would want them used for other things, um, but there might be some ideas on that page if I still have it up. If not, I'll have to look for it. But that's a possibility for some logos if nobody comes forth with that. Um, video project, uh, again, is it basically an uh, introduction and videos for uh, each team, like we have a um, video introduction for the um, lecture team, video introduction for the um, business expression media team, uh, marketing, etc. If you have any ideas for the lecture team, I will run that by the group and see if they have some specific things they'd like to see. And we can get back to you on that for the lecture team. And also, did everybody look at the um, PF guy? I got a link earlier about the, um, getting uh, some details about the um, team. Yes, it's nicely done. I'm not sure I get what you said, but I have a question, and that's on your overview. overview. The Quality Assurance Group Organizer. Um, this one's going to uh, edit and seek approval, blah, blah. So uh, is this the individual that's going to run all of the information, all of the um, materials that your team creates over to the lecture team for a review? Well, let's go, go to the um, build car insurance um, team, then go to the um, uh, media content administration. So basically, I'm going to give you an overview. Um, uh, did you look at the uh, video content guidelines and uh, procedures, uh, Jacqueline? I don't see video content guidelines. I'm looking at your Google Docs where you have your sub team coordinator de uh, oh, descriptions. Oh, that's just for coordinators. I posted another uh, link about um, each um, team detail. It's a um, PDF. It's in the chat. Uh, I'll post it again for you. No, I've got it. Video content guidelines. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So uh, just that I didn't have a question about that. I'm just understanding that any material that is made by media expressions or the public relations team, they're going to be cc'd to the, the lecture team because it's our job to make sure of you know to proofread it and be sure of its content and and. Um, uh, clarity and legality, safe legal safeties, uh, as well as uh, sending them to Jock and Roxanne, because I'm sure there'll be a point where there'll be so much material that they can't handle it all. They're going to need they're going to need the intercedence of the lecture team to be one of the main um, uh, liaisons with you, so to speak. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. So I'll update my um. I will update the guy and include the lecture team in it. The other thing I understand is that any material that any of the coordinators are making is to send them over to either Andrew or Jacques and Roxanne to for approval to be sure that they that it is um, still in line with the direction of the Venus project. So uh, just presenting it in a meeting here today, um, like for the first time, may not be. Um, a, a real 
fair chance to assess the material. It's kind of a quick read, a quick perusal that everybody's doing. It needs to be, you know, given to Jock and Roxanne in advance, maybe to Andrew in advance, so he can look it over and, you know, see where there might be any needs to change before you present it to the group. Yeah, that sounds good. Alfred sent that to us, if it's the same thing I think you're looking at. I don't have it in front of me. But um, we went over a few things. I think Andrew posted it. it. And actually, I sent it off to a friend of mine to get it edited. I haven't sent it back to you, Alfred, but I'll do that. Okay, when, I say, okay. when I say edited, I just meant grammatically. See, mo most of what I'm looking at right now looks like what is on the manual that um, Andrew posted on the TVP Ac Activism website that we have. So this looks like a, uh, a, a copy of it, and maybe there's more details than the, the, that's on uh, the Activism website, because I haven't read through the one that's on there yet, since we just got that last night. Uh, Roxanne, in this way, uh, I prepared um, a free mind uh, about uh, about all that. If you can just uh, say that uh, soon, <laughs> if you want. Can you repeat that? I, I passed the link on the chat about the uh, global organization and description of um, from all the teams. Uh, okay, I, I, are you talking about the graphs or the chart that Andrew was working on? I, I think he posted something after that issue. Yeah, and I prepared uh, that in this way. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't looked that over, but I will. I have a, disconnected from I have a general question. Um, <clears throat> it's a concern I have about the participation of some of our the Venus Project uh, activism um, in regards to our connection to the activism in the Zeitgeist movement. Is that okay to uh, present a question I have about this or should I leave this for a later time? No, you can question it if you'd like. Yeah, um, just to have it clear, um, there has been a quite a bit of a disruption in Venezuela where uh, I am the coordinator for the Venus Project activism and the question is if I can uh, I can be also in the Zeitgeist movement and contributing with ideas or stuff or sh or uh, should I, I cannot relate myself to the Venus, uh, to the Zeitgeist movement in Venezuela while at the same time being coordinator for uh, the Venus Project activism in Venezuela? I wouldn't presume to tell anybody what to do or who to talk to or, <clears throat> or who to get involved with. Um, the only thing I, I say is that if, if the people in the Zeitgeist movement want to use some of the Venus Project's material to promote the Venus Project, as I know a lot of them still do, then we ask to make it separate. I, I know I've made this clear to some people, but if you are working with the Zeitgeist movement and you want to present some of the Venus Project's material, please kept, keep it as like a separate brochure with the Venus Project website on that, and, and don't sign the Zeitgeist movement to our material. Um, just keep it separate. You know, a lot of the Zeitgeist members want to go out and do activism and pass out related material to the, you know, about the Venus Project, and that's fine with us. We appreciate it, but just don't sign the Zeitgeist movement to it. Just put the Venus Project website on there. And, you know, I, I wouldn't even begin to answer that to people. If they want to work with the Zeitgeist Movement, they want to work with the Venus Project, that's fine. Um, I would feel more comfortable with that initially. That's absolutely clear, Roxanne, and that is how it has been uh, handled, because 
I was told that I could not be involved with the Zeitgeist movement by someone who sent me, well, that's, I think it was Victor, uh, Victor Mora who said, you know, you can't, you can't be, you're either in one or uh, in the other. So it kind of shocked me. But what, what you say, Roxanne, makes a lot of sense and that is not to be a, a concern. Thank you. Yeah, and I don't want people to con confuse that and, and tell people that's coming from me. I would never tell people what groups to join or who to talk to. And, you know, I have a lot of friends in the Zeitgeist movement, and I wouldn't stop talking to them. <laughs> that's absolutely ridiculous. But I just want to keep the two separate when there are meetings just concerning the Venus Project. Even if maybe somebody came up with the Zeitgeist movement and they they made a connection to somebody that, that they'd want to have help the Venus Project. I mean, we'd welcome that too. So I, I, I can't make s certain distinctions like that. I, I wouldn't begin to, to even tell people not to talk to people in the Zeitgeist Movement or even people in the Zeitgeist Movement who want to help the Venus Project. This is great. We appreciate it. So I can't make any set rules like that. Everything would be kind of different. Absolutely. Absolutely. Makes a lot of sense what you're saying, that there's, there's not to worry about any of that. That's, that's, makes a lot of sense. And uh, uh, actually, I've been, my activism in, in the Zeitgeist has been just to show up that, that there is this situation that but we, don't, we really need to get together. And there are very brilliant people uh, in the uh, Zeitgeist movement that are, are quite... Um, advocates for the Venus Project and who are fully, you know, on board with, with this uh, possibility to do it, uh, to, make it, to make it come and to contribute with whatever they can. Thank you, Roxanne. Thanks. We would appreciate that contribution, too. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Rodrigo. I'm from Mexico. Uh, Andrew Buxton just set me as the coordinator for, uh, for Mexico. And uh, I've been chatting with all the side guys teams here in Mexico. And we have some questions. Okay, can I help you with that? Yeah, please. Uh, look, uh, my question is, uh, are we going to, or do you have already uh, uh, this uh, assigned and a specific list of activism that the Venus Project wants us to do, or is some this is going to be something like like this idea movement that everyone's do whatever they want? No, I wouldn't say that we want everybody to do whatever they want and go off in different directions. The, the most important thing to us is to learn the materials. And during the activist, as you're, if, if you have groups in certain areas, the, the most important thing is to start learning together and, and teaching other people within the group just what this is about. Um, we, we ask first to start you know, get Jacques' book if you, you know, I know there are torrents online. If, you, if everybody pitches in and gets it, it helps support the Venus Project because we pay for those books to have them done. But, you know, I'm, I'm also saying there are torrents if, if you definitely can't afford it. So start reading the book to everybody, you know, a chapter or a half a chapter when you meet so you educate people as to what this direction really is. Because I know a lot of people coming into the Zeitgeist movement had no idea what this was about. So if you read certain chapters, then discuss it, come to a consensus on it. If you have questions, we'll, we'll meet certain times and answer specific questions related to the work that you're doing on it. And then we have a lot of material that, you know, from the book you can go on to other things. And when there are new people that come in, other people should take those new people and introduce it to the introduce them to the material because teaching is the best way to learn as well. So we really want to have that. We're going to have a curriculum too that we'd like to do as an introduction in all different topics. We also have a lot going up on the YouTube media channel of Jacques talking about a lot of other topics. Um, 
So the first thing is to learn about it so people can really talk about it. Then if they want to go out in the streets and do activ activism, it's specifically to introduce people to this new direction because it is new for people. And we will be having different projects along the way, projects that we need to help further the Venus Project and what we're doing. And it might be projects that are specific to people that have different skills, but mainly the activism if you don't have specific don't have skills to participate in other things that we need, then the I would say do the activism. Um, but if you're educating people, then educate them along these lines. Like you said, learning how to take care of their waste is not a, is not going to solve the problem, although it is important. Maybe you could learn how how the Venus Project would take care of waste within in the future. You know, instead of just learning how to do patchwork today, because it really doesn't bring us into a positive future, it, it may help along the way. But um, we're, we're really promoting something very different in the future, and how to conserve energy and how to, how to conserve waste on a total systems approach for a, a global system. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, look, here in Mexico, uh, n not everyone has already read uh, Jack's book. Uh, I hadn't buy the book. However, by reading all of the Venus Project material, I, I really, and with my imagination, I think I really got a, a, a lot of the things uh, you want to do. Uh, but one of the questions of everyone is, how do we reach that? Even if we have the information, okay, we we already understand the information. How do we reach that? Okay, uh, it's not it's not going to be like tomorrow. Perhaps it takes a hundred years or two hundred years, but something has to be done. And the activism that has to be done, uh, it has to be a really really uh, tactic skill activism. So uh, my question is, are we going to set some? Uh, like this kind of separate group, activist groups, where we, uh, depending our, on our skill, uh, start working, for example, uh, building 3D things or make the calculation for buildings to know what materials should we use, or, for example, a team from propaganda, and a specific team just to spread the message via Twitter, Facebook, wherever, uh, media. And also, perhaps some. I know that I know. Uh, you guys are working already in uh, in the Venus Project new film. So I think that's great. We should start there by building, uh, by constructing a a movie, so everyone uh, can see how the future can be. So why don't we, well, as a proposal, why don't we focus on something specific, uh, make uh, like group. Uh, groups to work on that, and uh, uh, we have to in, uh, introduce that for for the members of the sidecase movement. There are a lot of people on the sidecase movement that really can help. However, there are other people on the sidecase movement that doesn't have any idea, and, and perhaps their skill are not too well to help. However, uh, they can help with propaganda if there is here a group to. Uh, and we can tell them what to do. Uh, we have in Mexico uh, scientific people and uh, people that uh, are programmers on, on websites. We, we're trying to build uh, a Mexican, the Sidecase Movement uh, website specific with all the info information of the Venus project. And, and we were trying to work very hard. But it's very, very difficult because we are working all separate as nations, and that's the problem. Everybody is in different country, and everybody has different goals uh, or, or in their side guys movement, for example. So as a proposal here to everyone that is listening to me, uh, this is the, the Venus Project act activism. So uh, one of the things we have to do is be together. And if we are going to do uh, activisms, we have to do it together. Uh, no, don't not having like 1,000 different websites, one uh, for every country, and everyone is writing w whatever they want. I think we should be focused on the goals of the Venus Project and the material of the Venus Project. This is exactly what we're trying to do. And we're keeping, instead of, like you said, everybody having a different website, 
Andrew is getting together the TVP activism page where every every country or every group who, who's doing activism will have a section on that page to post what they want and talk about what they want locally and discuss with them with themselves but it'll all be within one website and you can find that on our website it's tvpactivism.com I believe but these well, are perfect. yeah but these are all in the early stages and we we are doing very specific things yeah. you know like um, we have a lot of blueprints here and we have a lot of designs but we Andrew is working on new animations and new cities with with Jock and myself and we we want to have CAD people draw them up we want to have engineers work on them and we're going to have very specific projects for different types of skills yeah. and those that don't have skills and they want to talk about this and learn about it then they can join the activism team to do that but but very specific activism about what the Venus project is about and we'll true that up as we go along too we'll give more materials to do that but it is all in the early stages and it is going to develop and it's going to develop very tightly too that's great uh, great stuff and uh, that's what uh, I think most of the people here uh, want to 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 listen to that kind of activities and that kind of strategy strategy to to do it and if we have a for example a website in which people let's say engineers enter and they see a section of activists just for engineers they say oh I can do something and if they get into that activist they can uh, start uh, uh, make the drawings of in AutoCAD, AutoCAD. All, all those uh, schematic blueprints and start to to having that uh, saving that on a huge data database uh, so we can uh, use that material in the future uh, I know that for example Andrew Buxton has done a lot of uh, buildings in 3d and renders that's great stuff we, we need uh, to make the activists in groups of specific uh, areas and if there's a new member uh, we must uh, introduce that member in the right activism area right that's that's right on just what we're trying to do so it is developing and we agree on all of that and we are going to have um, we are going to have different projects that different people can do even research projects so we're we're developing all that so be patient it's coming along yeah that's perfect that's great stuff uh, as for myself I am a civil engineer I can help with anything you want about uh, construction and also uh, I uh, can do any design uh, any uh, logo t logos any uh, we website animation I have uh, my own business of websites uh, so I really want to help but I really want to know what direction are we going to do this. Everything that you say you can do, we need desperately. Can you get in touch with, with, with Andrew and make sure you sign up on our, our professional database? And we, we want to talk to you about the engineering aspects. And can you do CAD also? Yeah, I can do CAD and I have studied this material for, for years. I really like it. However, there are some things uh, b because of my skills that I I know about the materials, about the the steel, and I have some doubts. And perhaps in some things we don't have the technology. However, I know that we can, as human beings, develop some of that technology. It's just a matter of having the resource, the resources, and just a matter of having the right people to make the plan. I mean, uh, as a constructor, I know that. If, if I showed all these materials to, to my partners that are also civil engineers, they're going to tell me, yeah, but that's going to cost a lot of money. Or, yeah, it's, how, how many years do we need? Or, where the hell are you going to get that, those uh, resources? But the, what, what we need first is a very strategic plan. I think that the, the, the first things we need to do is that movie. The movie that shows how we can live different. 
with that technology if we even have the right people joined together and the planification to do it. That's the first step. So we need to focus on active IMS to make that movie come out as fast as we can. We agree with you on all those steps. And you know, um, you can tell your partners who are in civil engineering that this city that would house a certain amount of people would be less expensive than any other city if they understood how it went together and they understood how Jacques conceived of it. Even the, you know, even if they didn't know the details, just the fact that you only have to design one-eighth of the city and then duplicate it, it's cheaper than any city of that size that would house that population, even if it is built out of concrete and steel. And Jacques has other designs for, for new materials, but if we had to do it, the first city, we would probably be doing it with the materials that we have today. And the first city would be a planning center for, for the next city to do it, to have more automated machinery. They'd be planning the machinery that would be making more cities. Because whenever you make the, the first one, if we don't have if we don't have many, many cities that are going up all at once, then you wouldn't tool up with dies and, and jigs to make many at once, as you know, I'm sure. You would just use the materials that you, you can use to make one. You tool up when you make more than one, and that becomes less expensive as you divide up each city. But you don't make the tools to make mass production when you're only doing one city. You use that first city to to make those designs and make those molds and make those automated systems for the next cities. So it would grow exponentially, but it would grow slowly too. And that's when the cost becomes more, as you're making more than one city and you're making the jigs and the tools and the dies. But if you're making the first city, we'd make it out of materials that we have. Yeah, yeah. For example, the monetary cost uh, in, in, in the short uh, time, it will be like too much. But however, if you uh, go that in long time, okay. it's going to be cheaper. That's very, very, very clear. Yes, but even, but even in the first city, it'd be cheaper than any other city that's been made that's being made today. Yeah, of course, all the cities that we have today are a mess. It's very hard. Uh, all the cities take too too long a time to to do it, and 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 that's because uh, they are having many many other problems and issues going around on their cities and wars and etc. Uh, I think we need to to make a. Well, I know that Andrew, for example, has already done a, a huge database with people's uh, skills to have help on this, but it's like uh, it's not too outside in the website, you have to search it, the, the Venus project design team, and, and you have to, it's not so easy to reach that. So I think that if we build a website that is very, very strategical, so, so people when they enter, they really fast uh, see, oh look, there's an activist team on this area, I want to join. So, so we need to make a website that is very, very, very strategic, strategical. We've been talking about that for a while now, and I just mentioned it to Andrew, too. We don't have web developers that, that can help us right now, and there were some changes. Actually, Alfred tried to do some changes, but then we realized that we need to have an, a, a website that's not live to change, but it, to, to work on that isn't live and make the changes and then put it up. But if you want to help us with the website, because you, you seem to be in the same direction we're at. We, the database is not clear. Even when you get to Andrew's site, the database is not clear. I want to make the activism site very clear on our website. So there has to be a lot of changes. If you'd like to help us with this, that would be wonderful. And, and I have a programmer. His name is Daniel. He's working very, very hard on doing that. But it has a Sidegaze Movement I logo. Perhaps we can just change it to the Venus Project logo. So if you guys see what we have already done, uh, perhaps uh, it can help. I can right now here via TeamSpeak uh, send you the link on how we are uh, trying to do this. And perhaps you like the idea, and perhaps we can start working on that. We just need the programmers 
for example, I don't know too, too much of programming. However, I do websites, and I can do any flash animation, and I can edit any image at any size. So I can help with that. But if we have programmers, uh, we can uh, do it this uh, that way. So how how about if you take a look at at this link I'm about to write to you? <laughs> Sounds great. I love it. And. Um, you know, I wouldn't want it to look the same as a Zygai site, but I think it's something we need to develop together, you know, as an, as an off-site. So we, we do it, like I said, off the live site. Um, and, you know, all the different groups that we're working with are going to be overlapping. Like, um, when, when Alfred started changing our website, I didn't think about it. Ray pointed out that when we change the website, it changes lo the linguistics team, what they've been doing. So when we make these changes, no matter what we're working on, there are going to be many different teams that are overlapping. So we're going to have to make sure we coordinate and communicate with everybody as to what we're doing in case it, it has some effect on what the other teams are doing. Yes. Uh, for example, uh, one of the issues of many, many websites is that they are uh, full of information, you know, information everywhere. Information here and another image here. And when people enter, oh, they don't even know where to click because they are saturated with massive publicity everywhere. everywhere. So what we need to do is a, a clean website when information is coming to you very, very, stra uh, very, very strategical. So look, I uh, have right here uh, a link. It's called digitalprojects.com.mx slash parte1.jpg. So if you enter that link, you will see how it might look uh, and uh, right now it has the Sidegate Moment logo. However, uh, we can change that logo, it doesn't matter, but the structure of this website is really, will really think to, to focus on the goals and m make sure that the people that enter uh, start uh, getting the information the right order on the right way. So if you take a look at that, uh, and you, if you have already seen that link that I put, if you change the link and put number two instead of number one, you can see the next image. On that next image is the, the start of the website and it's an introduction. And someone, for example, we put uh, Annie Leonard, <laughs> uh, like explaining on a video what the people are going to be looking on the website. So if you click on that link, uh, change it the number one to number two, you can see, uh, and then if you change it to number three, number four, you're going to see uh, different images. And we have already been working on, on what is their, what they are going to be doing. And uh, we are working on programming. When people enter, they are going to have an account. And that account is going to give them access to more information. And there's going to be like some kind of a bar. So each time people know uh, more information, its bar is going to be growing, growing. So when they the, the, that that bar is full, that means they know everything of the website. So and if more information comes to the website, it, its bar is going to get a little bit shorter. So that so so with that, they are going to know that they need to study more information. And information is going to be like text, books, and videos. But also there has to be a section of activities and people, people uh, joining the activists and, and all, everything has oh, to every be on that website. So everyone knows and they don't have to be uh, asking yeah. everyone on TeamSpeak or going to all the different websites, uh, you know. That sounds really interesting. I'd like to see it. I don't see the link. Can you send it to my personal email, which is Meadows? M-E-A-D-O-W-S at thevenusproject.com Yeah, I can. Oh, uh, but I put it here on the TeamSpeak. Uh, just a second, just a second. Roxanne, can you open a uh, TeamViewer? I will open your chat. I'm not that familiar with TeamSpeak, so I don't know where to find that. Thanks, Dennis.
Okay, uh, may, uh, maybe Roxanne, you are not using TeamSpeak, right? Uh, just a second, I will open now her uh, TeamSpeak just to just uh, to uh, go in her command. Just a second. Well, basically, um, that website website is clean. Uh, it just when you enter, you see like the the planet Earth. Er everything is clean. The space, everything is black, and you have uh, buttons up and down. And those buttons are stretch uh, are uh, in categories. And if you click one of those categories, for example, videos, you will only see videos, nothing else. There's a section of information there's going to be only a uh, text information there's a section of news you're going to be knowing the latest news so you don't have to search there's a news for videos news for uh, everything you know so it's going to have to be divided in categories and in the programming when you enter it automatically uh, the, the computer knows if you are a new user or don't so if you are a new user it will it will mark the buttons in different color, color. so you know you have to click have that, to. and they sh uh, should uh, be, be uh, uh, grabbing the right information in the right order, so they know what is this all about. And if they want to join the activist group, uh, they can do it in the same website. Um, um, Roxanne, just to confirm, Rodrigo is currently in the loop, if you like. Um, he's the chapter coordinator for the Mexico chapter of the activism team. Rodrigo, have you spoken to James or Andrew Buxton regarding these development ideas as of yet? Uh, yeah, long, long time ago I chat with Andrew about this. He told me that he was going to tell Roxanne and Jack uh, but I think they were too too busy, and I start to I wanted to do something, so I met uh, the Sidegeist Movement team, and we started working on that by our own. Uh, we put the Sidegeist Movement Mexico logo. However, uh, with this new activities on the Venus project, we can be work working on that. However, we will be needing uh, programmers. Uh, many other people to help developing this. However, it has already been start uh, being uh, developed. Now, now is the full time for you to contact Andrew again, Rodrigo, and for you to coordinate and for your colleagues in Mexico to coordinate now with James and Andrew to incorporate your ideas onto our global activism website. That sounds far better than having separate websites and developing two separate sites on two separate platforms with two separate groups. I mean, I strongly suggest now that you coordinate with Andrew and with James regarding incorporating your ideas into the development of our global activism website. Yeah, I can help with that. Uh, I'm going to send Andrew a message and hope you guys can see uh, our work, what are our plans. Basically, is we need a website that is clean. We need a website where new users enter. There's an introduction with a video. Uh, and in that introduction, an explanation, what are they going to find on the website and what is it for, and then an easy way to navigate, find information, and find very easy your activists depending on your skills. Rodrigo, Andrew and James are def desperate for help now with um, the development of the website. If you point out to Andrew that you guys have the skills to assist in this development, then they'll be glad for the assistance. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, at, at this time, we haven't heard too much from James, although he said he wanted to sign up. You know, I'll have to talk to him and see where he's at with this. But um, it would probably be 
through me and Andrew at this time, I got a quick glimpse of of the the page, the front page, you know, with the I guess it was um, I guess Dennis showed it to me, and it looks really really nice. I, the only thing is that we couldn't have the same website that the Zygotes movement has. Um, I like what you're doing with it. I, I have some suggestions looking at it right away that I'd want to talk to you about, but I, we're really on the same we're really on the, we're really on the same thought with this whole thing. And we do want to co coordinate all those sites together and make it really clean and simple like you did. So I, I would really like to talk to you about it. I'd really like to to start with that premise that you had and, and expand on that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I hope we can chat uh, more about this. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of ideas, uh, ba but basically, and it has to be something very, very easy to navigate, and uh, have to have the right information in order to people to to know what it is about. Do you think we could talk with Andrew, you, me, and Andrew tomorrow? And you know, hopefully James might want to participate more. I don't know what's happening with him right now. We'll have to talk to him. But do you think we can talk tomorrow together, maybe through Skype with this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. That's so nice for me. In fact, I have you already on Skype, but I have never chatted with you, Roxanne. <laughs> Yeah, we need to talk uh, because uh, we can even do more things or remove other things. You know, the logo, we need to remove that logo and put another logo. But it has to, if we have already do, done a mental map, I don't know if you guys are familiar with a mental map. It's a structure, structure map when you uh, start writing the, the order and the content of the, of the things. We have already worked on that. It's a huge map with a lot of information. We spent like uh, one week working on that. Um, but there were only one of the problems here in Mexico is that uh, our programmers are not very weak. So we really, really need programmers. We have all the idea. I can help with, with some programming, some uh, content, images, editing, and animations. However, uh, programming is uh, the very difficult uh, thing to do. And uh, perhaps we need to focus on, on having uh, progr more programmers to help uh, make this thing done as fast as we can. OK, well, I'll talk to Ray about it. I'm really excited about it. and really want to get on it pretty quickly because this is just something I wanted to do desperately. I knew it was needed and I knew it was wrong, but what you did was beautiful. So um, we're using Joomla right now and I'll put out some feelers with Ray and see if we can get some help. Oh, I really, really want to help. I was thinking of instead of the earth, maybe a box with pictures fly flashing like we have on our site because that catches a lot of people. Yeah, but it can be, for example, the Earth, on all around the Earth, uh, little pictures with transparency, changing and moving all around the Earth, showing uh, how the, uh, the, if some buildings or some future cities can be looked like. Many of the things he was speaking about are exactly, you know, the ideas we gathered over the two years of the Zeikas movement as far as how do we improve the things and simplicity number one uh, very appealing to people who find the site and uh, also the video on the front page explaining what it is is a very good idea and uh, also some other things as far as just simple buttons that take you to relevant information and relevant teams and then the other one was um, when a person logs in or signs up to the site they, ha they have an opportunity to fill in additional information as far as the, their professional capabilities. And I'm, I think there were more, but that's all I can think of at this time. But I'm, I'm happy you brought this up and you guys will have this meeting. This sounds very good. 
Yep, I agree with everything you said. And I think maybe as this develops before it goes live, I think maybe we should have all the, the team members here be able to look at it in case there's something that they want to add or they have a comment, we can do that as well. Yeah, that will be a very good idea. And if we can bring also programmers and they can be uh, listening to what we are saying, perhaps they can give more more ideas because this start uh, with me and another, another friend and when a programmer enters uh, the our uh, meeting, he starts saying, hey, if, but if you do this, it can do this, this, and this. And we said, oh, yeah, and, and, and more ideas came out when programmers, because they are the ones that are developing the information. I only design images and ideas uh, in and links and stuff like that. However, the programmers have more 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 ideas. There's a software that can uh, put up a people a person in front of the website uh, without the video. It's like an SWF. It's like an animation, but it's a person like walking in front of the the site and speaking what it's about. I, I, I let me find an example uh, because I perhaps I didn't explain myself too well. <laughs> No, I know what you're talking about. I've seen that before. I've seen it related to things that are very commercial, though, but I'm sure it would relate to this as well. Yeah, for example, our, our uh, intention was on the beginning, there was like a, uh, a video of a person explaining what, what, what is this all about. However, uh, it was a video. It was like a box, you know, a square horrible square and there's a program where you can put uh, persons in front of the website without the square all the all, all the shape of the all the people and it's a video and the person is talking and and it's with his hand pointing at the buttons you know in this button you will find this this and at the same time an animation comes with pictures and explanation so people can easily navigate and when they enter they uh, really like the website you know when you like something when you like a website, you remember it forever. So when when if you if we build a very very nice website, uh, people will get, have that in mind forever, and they will start to remember. Yeah, this is good technology. So if we are going to chat about uh, or explain about technology, we need a website with technology. So they uh, we can give them a little bit more comfort uh, that we are uh, our planning is something very technological advanced. It sounds really good. From Iowa. Can you hear me? Hi, Nate. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I'm just going through, you know, all the, the websites that we have. You know, we have four websites, and uh, I was just talking in the chat that, you know, it might be good just to have, you know, two websites, and someone else brought that up in the chat, to just have two websites, you know, one the main Venus Project website where everyone can go to, and then, of course, the second one for the activism. And we have the venusprojectdesign.com and the Venus Expressions, which, I don't know, to me, it, it seems uh, overwhelming. I agree. That, that, was, that was an issue with us, too, and we need to combine it all. And even before we, we went separate, we, were, we wanted to combine the Venus Project design with our, you know, the main site. So we will get that all on one site and, and keep the activism arm separate but have, have it very clear as, as to what it is and where it is and that, that people can go to it easily on the main site. And it'll look like, I, I, my idea was that it really looks like it's on the same site, but when you click on it, you, you do go to the other site. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and if you if you guys need help, I know I've been helping Andrew with uh, the the Facebook groups, and I will keep doing that. Um, I I don't really know programming. I I the website that I have, I I just use the basic Yahoo tools, and and uh, yeah, I don't know PHP or anything like that. But I just you know use what I have and try to to do the best I can. 
gets a little more confusing with Joomla that we'll be working with, I guess, but I, we really know, need those people, too, who, are, who specifically know that. But thanks, Nate. We, I'm sure we could use your help in a lot of things. Roxanne, has there been a call put out for the registered developers on the database? Please. No, not yet. And I don't even know how many we have on the database that do that, but I'm sure we have some. I'll have to talk to... We'll go over all that with Andrew tomorrow. We've got lots, Roxanne. Um, I looked just yesterday. We've got lots, and also we've got a lot of architects as well. Uh, that's fantastic, and we'll start using that database. You know, a lot of different categories. We'll start using them now. Rodrigo, if James is not going to participate much, perhaps you can coordinate the development team with Andrew. But I agree with Nate, and I think it's vitally important that we work together and we try to keep things contained within the system and not diversify into separate systems where unnecessary. That was a big failing of the Zeitgeist movement. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yep, I agree too. I'm also glad that you guys are on the same page. Um, Roxanne, we've got a radio station down in Mexico that would like to do podcasts um, and invite the Venus Project on as guests. It's mainly a Spanish-speaking audience. Um, I have spoken to Rodrigo briefly, but possibly if yourself or Jock didn't feel appropriate to attend a Mexico-based Spanish-speaking radio station, then perhaps Rodrigo could do that for us. Well, we just did that with Luis last week. It was a radio station who did podcasts in, in Mexico, and I don't know if it's the same one. It's a um, music station, too, but uh, we have no problem doing that. It, we do need interpreters, or, or the people have to speak English, so... But we have no problem doing that. Yeah, it is in Luis. That's good. Yep, that's already underway. I think it'll be out soon. That's awesome. I don't know Luis. However, I'm going to chat with him in private uh, in a little while. Very good. I just want to make another quick point to everybody regarding, regarding if we're talking to people about the possibility of building any test cities. Um, Roxanne spoke briefly earlier about the efficiency of the city building leading to low cost building. But not only should we put emphasis on the low cost of building the cities, but we should also put equal emphasis on the resulting output of these efficient cities. Yes, if, if you are going to talk to people, we'll, we'll try and get a lot of information together for you in order to do that. We'll have to work on all that. The focus needs to be on development now, I would suggest. And I think perhaps the best thing we could do moving forward is to turn to the database and put a call out for all the developers that we have registered and ask for participation now at this time in developing the site. Hey, Roxanne, this is Eight from Iowa. I got a question for you. Okay. Um, what what is your guys' overall uh, uh, goals on uh, the whole fundraising for the uh, movie? Um, what what are you guys thinking about? Just you know, just get people to sell uh, the books for you guys um, and the DVDs and things like that. Just keep that going so you guys can get more funding for the movie. You have any other ideas of funding for the movie? Well. No, we haven't been expanding on that right now. Um, the funding is still coming in. The funding, initial funding, we, we were hoping to get a certain amount. 
um, for kind of seed money for the film and we're we're writing out the script but we will need a professional script writer we feel uh, to put it in the right form and to true up certain things you know and and then um, take that to different studios but even the way I think about it seems to change along the way with certain contacts that we make so I don't know if that will be an important way to go although we are going to continue that route but we'll see what happens along the way see who we meet along the way but um, I haven't really pushed the fundraiser any more than what I've done already I haven't sent out any emails about it or sent out to our list but that's something we need to do I guess it just got kind of pushed back with all the other things we're doing since we be, you know became independent of Zygites and there's just been a lot of work to do and we I haven't even gotten around to doing a newsletter for all that, which I need to do. Do you have a current script writer in mind, Roxanne? No, I don't have a particular script writer in mind. We're looking for that as well. What would be the preferred criteria? Would you prefer somebody simply with good skills to offer, or would you prefer, if possible, somebody high profile? Well, a high profile might be good, it might be more expensive, but mainly somebody who is wanting to learn about this direction, who has a pretty good understanding of the significance of this direction, and of course is a good writer. You would look for somebody with um, quite extensive experience at script writing then, as opposed to somebody who may be new and emerging. Well, we're working with somebody who's new right now just to develop it with us somewhat. We're hashing certain things around and getting as much down as we can. Um, but, you know, we've learned sometimes that even if we, if we approach a script writer, they might want to start from scratch as well. But in order to do that, if we get something that we like, in order to do that, they'd have to be pretty good to start again but there, there are just a lot of options we we would like somebody initially who's pretty experienced and might have some contacts okay perhaps myself and Chris can put that on the agenda for discussion Roxanne and perhaps put some and um, do some marketing towards some script writers okay that'll sound that sounds good we'll have to talk about that more so do you have resources available for the legal team? Um, a few hours worth of time. Resources for a legal fee, is that what you said? No, for the legal team. Um, <laughs> to look over some um, terms and conditions for a film sharing website that could also be a platform for generating funding. I don't exactly know what you're proposing. Okay, the way this new modern media site works is it's a film sharing site. And based on the popularity of any particular piece of material posted on that site, um, the number of likes, the number of viewings, the number of sharings, that gives a point score. The higher that point score, the increased possibility of generating funding um, through, again, site advertising on the website page in which our material would be posted. Now, Peter Joseph does have Moving Forward registered on this site, and it's quite successful. But the um, terms and conditions, I would prefer a legal team to go over that in detail with you to discuss any possibilities. Yeah, we have no legal help right now. Okay, we can discuss more in detail at a later time then. Okay. Roxanne? Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go. But I um, really appreciate the opportunity being on here. It's very exciting. <laughs> and um, look forward to continuing all this with everyone. Yeah, great stuff. Thanks for coming on, my friend.
Uh, Roxanne, before you, you left, um, I sent you uh, an email about uh, uh, the mind I did um, for organization and structural of uh, Venice Project Global Activism. Okay, you sent it my email address? Yep. Okay, thanks. Thanks, you. Oh, thanks for your time, Roxanne. You know, it would be a good idea, I would suggest, further to put a call out to those registered developers and programmers on the Venus Project database and ask them to then attend that future meeting with yourself, Roxanne and Andrew. Yeah, that will be re really, really helpful. Uh, I will start uh, recruiting programmers on the SiteGuys movement. And I'm starting to to write on Facebook all about that. Yeah, when it, more programmers, um, better, because they can give us more ideas and things that we can do. Well, you've obviously um, very much on the same page as Roxanne Rodrigo, um, so that's good news. Um, but I'd urge you just to make sure that you keep in contact, not only with Andrew, um, but like suggested as well with Ray, and work on this development together so that people are not doing needless work elsewhere. Yeah, we should be all together. We are uh, going to the same direction. It's good that you step up now, Rodrigo, because we've got the time now to change anything that needs to be changed. And I know you said you've had these ideas for some time. Um, so now is the ideal opportunity to perhaps incorporate those ideas. So, great news. Yeah, it's been like more than two years since these ideas came out. And it's very difficult to start working on something like that because you need programmers. So if you guys already have a database of volunteers and programmers, I think right now is the time to bring them all together and make the best planification uh, as possible uh, and to build this as fast as we can. Because once this is done, the next step will be recruiting an activist uh, to work uh, for the movie. Yeah, exactly, Rodrigo. This is this is the right time now for the developers and programmers to contribute to the Venus project. And I know from looking at the database recently that there are a lot of programmers and developers registered on the database. They're probably not aware as yet that there's such a big need for their contribution at this time. And if we can focus our efforts there in the short term, as you say, we can get that right. And then we can be efficient in regard to moving forward and quickly getting the funding generated for the movie. And following that, looking forward towards stage three and four of the project. Excellent. 